here's the tip for parents. Back uh, when we moved to Mexico in 1990, uh, Stefan was 11 years old. Isabella was eight years old, not, not even yet. She was born in August, we moved in May. But Sue and I made a conscious decision as we were moving. And we realized that they had so many toys that they had never even played with. So we decided no more toys for Christmas. That what we would do is we would give them an amount according to what you can afford or what we could afford at that time. Uh, every Christmas, every birthday, and then of course we've always had that thing that if they got straight A's, we give them 100. If they got B's, for every A, we give them 100. For every B, we give them 50. For C, we give them nothing. For B, we take away the 50. And for an F, we take away the 100 and ground them. Anyway, it's a formula that we you use whatever formula you can, whatever formula is good for you. But we also decided that if they got straight A's, they got $500. And trust me, you have no idea how hard they worked for that. I think only two of them ever were able to uh, to get that and get me for that 500 but we decided that that money was not going to be cash given to to spend as they seemed. We uh, sat down with them and asked them to pick stocks that they like. So they, of course, every every single one, Esther and Zayla both picked Apple. Uh, they both picked Netflix. They picked uh, Microsoft. Uh, and I forgot what, I think one of them picked up Mattel, the other one Disney. But we decided to teach them about buying stocks. And, uh, and they began to do that. And they didn't care about toys or anything like that. You know, we always went out and had fun. So it wasn't about opening uh, uh, gifts or anything like that. Plus, whatever they needed, we bought it for them during the year. We didn't wait till Christmas to buy it. So they did that. And they saved and saved and saved. And uh, over the years, it's been 14 years now. I cannot believe, I cannot tell you how that little amount of money that we gave them. And, and like they, when they sold their bicycle, they began to sell toys. They began to sell clothes that they did not need. And buy stocks and stocks. I think all together they put in, I don't know, $20,000 or something like that throughout the last 14 years. But uh, their portfolio is many, many, many times over. And they look at it now daily. And instead of wanting toys, instead of wanting anything like that for Christmas, they want stocks. And uh, we need to teach our children about financial literacy. Because it's sad that so many people get to retire and look back and Social Security will no longer be able to afford a dignified life. It is very sad that the middle class in America has disappeared. And it's very sad that so many people live, live, live. Uh, I taught one of my children that if they take the $5 they spent at Starbucks and save that $5 every day, at the end of 30 years, they'd have over a million dollars. Crazy, huh? But it is. But we don't think about it. We want instant gratification. And then when we get to 65, 70, unless we've had a great career, if we just have had a middle life or middle class type life management uh, position or working for a company or anything like that, we just ain't gonna make it. And it's hard. Teach your children financial security. It is the greatest gift you can give them this Christmas. And anyways, Christmas is about celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, not about gratifying ourselves with toys. Be blessed and have a wonderful holiday.